Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are going to be doing another flower study like we did with the tulips a couple weeks ago. We're going to be painting daffodils in different mediums. I'm going to be doing some line drawings, some line and wash, and I think I'm also going to be using some colored pencils for today's video. Now today is part one as we're going to have part two in our next video where I'm going to be using some gouache water soluble pencils and my watercolor crayons but to get started let's jump in with some line drawings and watercolor and just have some fun okay so today we are going to be doing another two-part flower study if you guys saw my videos a couple weeks ago i did two full pages of creating tulips with different mediums and different perspectives and today i thought i would do another one like that but using daffodils so tulips were kind of my comfort zone flower and while I have painted daffodils before I'm not completely comfortable with them but this whole exercise is to kind of get to know the flower in different mediums and different perspectives and just practice so I'm going to release the pressure of them being perfect or because I, I really don't know what to expect I've done it maybe a handful of times painting them before but not too often so this is going to be kind of an experiment but just we're playing around this is how you become better at things you know you do the same subject over and over again different ways different mediums to get more familiar with it so that's what we're going to be doing today this is going to be a two-part video like the tulip one was so for today's video i'm going to be doing a continuous line drawing i'm going to be doing um, a watercolor version i'm going to do watercolor with some colored pencils um and then maybe just some actual just line drawings with shading. I don't know. I, I don't know necessarily exactly how far this is going to go today, but that's what we're doing for our first video. And then make sure to check back for my next video where I will try and use some water soluble crayons, maybe some gouache, maybe some watercolor pencils. I We're just going to play around. But today we are starting with some line drawings and watercolor and colored pencils. So... I am going to start by grabbing a pen and I'm going to do a line, a continuous line drawing of a daffodil. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to kind of get my hand flowing, get some basic shapes down. But the reason why I like to do the continuous one is because there's no pressure of it being exactly accurate because it's going to be kind of abstract just because it is a continuous line drawing. So there's room for mistakes, but we're also just kind of getting to know the shape of the flower. So I have my Pigma Micron pen in a size 05. You can just grab any pen that you have. I am gonna be using my Etcher Cold Press watercolor sketchbook today. I have this palette that has um, some of my colors in it. I will try and explain which ones I'm using before I use them. And then I have my Emma Lafrey. Emma Lafave, Emma Lafave and Craft Emo brushes in a size six and a size two today. And then I'll go through any other materials I'm using later on. Okay, so I'm gonna start I'm gonna draw a daffodil. I do have like a reference photo, like a bunch of reference photos in front of me on my computer. I just typed daffodils and just have um, my Google screen up basically just to look at different, uh, you know, perspectives. All right, stop talking, let's go. Continuous line drawing, not gonna lift my pen off of the paper. So I'm gonna start with the center. It has this kind of, and I can go over it a couple times. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then it has like this trumpet kind of shape to it maybe we can do some lines like that and then it has six petals so I'm going to come back this way and I'm going to overlap them one two three four and I have to hop to the other side five and then there's going to be one on the other side I'm going to come right up the center here and do some a little center in there I know it's hard to see with my hand in the way I'm going to come right out the back do a stem and then go up and do the leaves. Looks pretty cool. I feel like I could do a bit more shading on that if I wanted to go back in and just like do some lines on the petals. But see, it looks like a daffodil, but there's no pressure of it being exactly perfect, right? Because we're doing this continuous line drawing that gives this kind of abstract feeling to it. And that's that was actually a lot of fun. So I, I think I might try it again with a different... And there goes my dog. <laughs> I'm going to try it again with a different perspective. Maybe it's turning the other way. So I'm going to have one down. I'm going to start this way. I'm going to start with that center. 
Okay, it's kind of like a wonky little circle. And then the trumpet part where it's gonna to connect to the base where all the petals are together. I'm gonna to make it short like that. So we know that the base of all the petals are gonna come from here and I'm just gonna start creating my petals. Oh my goodness, my dog. I'm gonna hop over here. Like that, I'm gonna do some lines going down the petals, why not? Maybe just make it a little bit darker at the base of the trumpet here and then kind of come up, do that center, go back, stem. Maybe I'll have a leaf curving like that. And there we go. That was actually fun. And then if you wanted to take it a step further, you could add watercolor to your line drawings. There's, there's no rules, right? So there's our fun line drawings. I feel like I could do like a whole page full of that. That was fun. Um, and now I'm going to attempt watercolor with it. So it's going to be a bit more detailed. You could, you know what, let's do uh, a loose daffodil and then we'll try maybe a more um, detailed one. Let's try that. I'm just kind of going, going with the flow here. And now there are also different kinds of daffodils. I think they're called narc narcissus, narcissus, Narciss I keep thinking like narcissist like that. that, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, there's tons of like different kinds of them. There's like bright yellow ones. There's ones with like orange centers. Um, there's one called like a blushing lady one, which is really pretty. It's like peaches and stuff. So kind of go with whatever you feel like. I'm going to start with a loose version just to kind of, again, get used to the shapes. And have fun with it. So I have some cadmium yellow here. I have some yellow ochre. And I'm just going to start with my cadmium yellow. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the petals first, I think. I'm just gonna play around. I'm gonna do these pointed petals. So remember there's six. You know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try and overlap them. I'm gonna go like this. So I'm gonna start with three. Like that. And they're just kind of like regular petal shapes pointed at the tip. Maybe I'll grab a little bit of yellow ochre, put it around the edges, I don't know. Now remember there's gonna be that center in the middle too, right? Actually, so maybe I'll make it a little bit lighter towards the center. Maybe this one will be like right directly on. Now I would definitely probably do the center first to kind of, if I was doing a more detailed version, but I'm just kind of playing around here. Um, so I kind of want to wait for that to dry. I'm going to do just like a really loose stem. And I'm going to have it kind of come down here because there's going to be another petal here. So I don't really want it to bleed into that. I'm just going to do a little stem here. I have some olive green. You can choose whatever green you want. You can always add you know, a bit more blue to it just to make it a bit more of a brighter green if you wanted to. Then I have some leaves. Like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna wait for those to dry, so just give me a second. Okay, now that they're dry, I'm gonna grab some more yellow and I'm gonna go do kind of like a, a layering effect. I'm gonna try and leave this part a little bit lighter. I don't want it too bright because I wanna kind of see that layers underneath of the other petals. See how they're layered? Like that. You could even just draw the center out if you wanted to. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the things I'm doing today, but we're playing, we're experimenting. That's the whole point. But I was looking at a couple reference photos and some of the petals like actually are layered, like you can see through them and see those petals underneath. So I thought this would be kind of fun to try out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow ochre. To the tips, maybe down the center a bit like so. That's kind of cool. This was supposed to be loose, wasn't it? This is not that loose. This is actually a bit more structured than I was hoping. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do like 
while that's drying, I'm just going to do like a super loose one right here. Just like as loose as I can. Quick. So I'm going to have this like trumpet kind of side. So it's like a kind of like a, what, what do you say? Like a triangle, right? So it starts narrow and then it kind of comes out. And then at the end, you have this like circle, which I'm going to make a bit more orange in a minute. I'm going to grab more color. And then from the base here, you just do... Some simple petals. And I'm just trying to do them really loose, not think too much about it. Leave some white space. Okay, I'm going to grab some red to make a little bit of orange. Make this one a bit more orange. Maybe at the base and some lines. A bit more yellow. Yeah, this is more loose. That's a bit more structured. That's not necessarily detailed, but it's more structured. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? There we go. Like that. I'm going to grab a bit more red. Just tap it in there. Why not? Okay. Then I'm going to grab my green. So I know a lot of people ask me why I put my palette on this side and not over here so I don't have to keep reaching across. Um, when I paint, I always have my arm down. Um, and anytime I've ever tried to put my palette over here, my arm goes in the paint. So if you're ever wondering why I do that, that's why. Okay, so I'm not going to go all the way down because I want to do some more over here. Had a little bit of a color bleed there. Like that. Maybe let's just add a little bit of blue to it. Why not? Why not? Like so. I feel like that red's a bit much. I'm gonna just mop it up a bit. Add a bit more yellow to it. There we go. There's like a loose daffodil. Okay, so now back to this one because this is dry now. I'm going to create more orange again for the center. Not too orange, but just a little bit darker. And I'm going to just do this kind of curved center like this. This is like a straight on kind of view. Okay, and then I'm just going to wash off my brush a bit. Just blend it into the center here. Then grab a bit more. Just tap a little bit into the center. I'm just going to do some little lines while it's wet. Just to give it a little bit of depth. A little bit more darker orange. A couple more lines. I'm going to try and drag the lines to the center so those little explosions go in the center. Go around the tip a bit. Like that. And then I'm going to grab just some yellow, maybe some yellow ochre, and I'm just going to create some more detailed lines going down the, the petals. And I will do a center a bit more detailed once it's dry. Like that. I feel like it's all kind of mesh, meshing together there a bit more. I'm just going to lift up some of that color because we want a bit of difference like that. And I'm going to let that dry. You can always just go back to your leaves, do a little bit more detail if you wanted to. that. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to go over on this one. Does that make it darker? No, eh, not really. Okay, that didn't do too much. Okay, let's let that dry and then we'll come right back. Okay, now that that's dry, actually thinking about it, I want the center to be a little bit darker, but I want to have those bright yellow centers to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do like a negative painting. I'm going to take some of those burnt sienna and I'm just going to kind of paint around where there would be like the center kind of stamen bit. So I'm just going to like outline some centers there, which I will 
um, add later with a bit more brighter yellow and I'm just going to kind of go around it with this burnt sienna like that then I'm going to wash off my brush dry it and I'm just going to try and blend it out a bit see what I mean and then just kind of like that Kind of doing some lines out just to give it a little bit of depth inside like that and then once that is dry I'm actually gonna grab some white I just have some white watercolor in here grab a little bit of yellow mm, I need to wait for it to dry <laughs> okay hold on okay a little bit of white and yellow and just those kind of like little dots that we carved out just adding it in like that and there we go so there's our a bit more structured kind of detailed one um you know what before we do our last one which i will add some colored pencils with it so which will be a bit more detailed I just want to show you what you can do with like a line drawing so you can always just leave it black and white but you can always just do a really loose kind of wash of watercolor over it like you don't have to follow the lines just kind of loosely go around it sometimes people like the look of that as well okay and then you can just add some depth just by adding some darker color where there would be a little bit of darker color towards the center maybe on some of the petals kind of have fun with it grab your green and you don't have to go in the lines at all but it kind of gives this kind of loose abstract feel line and wash which is fun to do like that which I kind of like that it gives the line and wash a little bit more life okay so there's that Let's add a little bit more color here why not all right okay so then lastly like I said we had our line drawing we have our line and wash we have our more structured daffodil we have our really loose one now I'm going to do a bit more of a detailed one and I'm going to add some colored pencils on top afterwards for a bit more texture okay so I really like this blushing lady <laughs> colored one I think they're really beautiful they have like this really pale yellow um the petals and then the center is like this peachy orange so you can always if you want to draw it out first which I'm thinking I might do so I'm just going to do like the head of it because we only have a little bit of space here so I'm going to start by drawing, you know what, let's draw a circle. I'm just going to show you how you can sketch it out. It's more like an oval -y shape, okay? And then you're just going to kind of make some waves going around that, okay? And then from the circle, from the outer bits of the circle, you're going to have it come in to create this trumpety shape like that and then you're just going to kind of curve the bottom here okay now if you want to you can create like a larger circle as a guide around this okay so I want you to imagine that this is the center and then there's a bigger circle around here and this will just help you use this as a guide of where your petals are going to go so start with three petals all coming from the base here so one and then skip a little area two and then evenly there would be one behind here three kind of right yes it's hard to imagine it sometimes I know three and then we're gonna have another three kind of overlapping where those are 
one, two, and three. Now I know this looks like a mess, <laughs> right? You're like, how do you decide where everything goes and what to erase and what not to erase? But it's kind of just, you'll kind of see it step back and take a look. But before we do that, we're just going to put in where our stem is. So our stem would be coming right from that center stamen. So you can imagine it behind there and then just kind of bring it down like so. Okay. So I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase the circle around okay any petals that are inside that we don't need if you want to you can take a pen and go over the lines that you do want to keep and then just erase everything else which might be a great idea do I want to do that I want to do something you know what maybe I will like I said, we're kind of just winging it here. So I'm just going to do a really light sketch around there. So then we can just erase. Okay. like that see how we have our shape here and then the inside um, okay so you're gonna see the tips of these like the bell part here and then here as it comes on across the side it's almost like they're kind of folded over so you can kind of do like a little I don't know lip to it like that okay and then our Our little stem there okay so now I'm gonna grab my eraser and just erase it fully that's a little easier just so you can see everything you need to see right okay so there is our shape and now we can start painting with watercolor so like I said those petals are more on this like light yellow side so I'm actually gonna take some white it makes it a little bit more opaque but I want to do that <laughs> so I'm going to so I'm just taking this light wash of yellow that's mixed with white. And I'm just gonna put it on the petals. Draw the line there, that's okay. Now remember, we're gonna add some colored pencils to this after, so not all the detail has to be done with watercolor. And when I say this is a more detailed one, I don't mean realistic. When I say detailed, I don't mean realistic. I don't do realism. Um, I just mean, you know, more details, more lines, more texture. That's just kind of the way I think about it. I'm not a realistic painter by any means. Okay, so there's our kind of like our base color of our light petals. I'm going to add a little bit of white just to some highlights like that and then I'm gonna while it's still wet I'm gonna take a little bit of black okay and I'm gonna add it to my yellow to make this like grayish yellow and while it's still wet I'm just gonna add some grayish yellow lines going down and that's kind of the the shadow color just a little bit of black you don't want a lot Okay, but we're going to add some shadow behind some of the petals are, that are kind of behind other petals at the base here. You can even add a little bit of shadow towards the top. Like so. Okay, and then you're going to want to let that dry. Um, I'm going to do the stem while it's drying I'm just not going to touch it to the flower so I don't want the green to bleed into the petals here I'm just adding my green stem just 
like that. You can add your um, leaves now if you want to as well. So daffodil leaves are just these long, thin leaves, like so. Okay, like that. Now let's let that dry. Okay, okay now we're gonna do the center and it's a bit more of like an orangey, um, like peach color. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of pink just to make it a bit more peachy. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a light wash over the whole thing, really light. I'm just trying to make it even. You don't want too much paint or water. Okay. So it's all evenly wet. And then I'm gonna leave some areas that are a little bit lighter. So right towards the base here, it's gonna be a little bit lighter, but then it's gonna be a little bit darker around the circle. So I'm just kind of tapping a bit more color like that, see how it's a bit lighter there and inside. I'm just gonna tap a little bit more over here. I'm just gonna grab a bit more red, a bit more pink. Just tapping it here, like that. Now, if it's bleeding too much into it, you can always wash off your brush and dry it. And then I'm just gonna kind of lift some of the paint just with a clean dry brush like that okay and then we're gonna let that dry okay and I think then we're gonna go into the colored pencils okay so now I have my Prismacolor pencils um, and I'm just gonna just play around so I'm gonna start with some of the shading on the petals. Oh my gosh, my words. So I'm just gonna just do some line shading. I'm just using like a yellow, this is a yellow ochre. And again, this isn't meant to look realistic. This is just, you know, for a bit of texture. I like the way the texture looks on the, with the the pencils and these are my Prismacolor pencils. I don't remember if I just said that or not. So I'm just doing some lines from the top, lines from the base with my darker yellow. And I will be doing in the next video um, watercolor pencils too to show you kind of how I would do that and then blend it out. that. I'm going to take a little bit of gray here. Actually, no, maybe not gray. Let's do like a light brown. Just to make it a little bit darker towards the base in some areas. To increase that depth a bit. And we have this fun peach color. Okay, and I'm just gonna do some lines coming down the middle. 
and they would all be kind of curving in. So remember, this is like a curved circle, right? So here's the center. Actually, let's, oh, I need like a bright yellow for the center stamen bit. I'm gonna lighten that up with some white if I can. Okay, I can't really. Oops. <laughs> there, some light white over top. I know you can barely see it. I'm gonna go around it with some orange. Just darken it. Mm, that's too bright. Is this too bright? Just trying to kind of go around that stamen just a bit. My oranges are too bright. That's okay though. Let's grab a little bit of that brown just to neutralize it a bit. Darken it. that and then maybe a little bit of brown from here yeah that works and then if there's any more highlights That. And then lastly, some green texture on it. A little bit of darker green. Like that. wonder if I can get a little bit of gray in here. Here. Eh. Oh well, it's all good. Okay. Or I could always use my black pen, maybe. You can just use whatever you like. There we go. Okay. And there we go. There is our colored pencil and watercolor one. So there we go. Those are today's daffodils. So we did our line and wash, line drawing, um, just more detailed simple daffodil really loose and then one with colored pencils and watercolor and there we go so make sure to stay tuned for next video next week ne the next video that i'm going to put out where we try them with different mediums hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if there's any other flowers you'd love to do this study with Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.